is up everybody welcome back to another little tailgate talk here it's gonna be a short little flow episode today just want to do a quick little review got a new pair of glasses uh, it's actually the pair of glasses I'm wearing right now it's uh, these are the Toro range glasses it's a, it's a company I've, I've never heard of them prior to them reaching out to me but they're a company out of California and they they make some glasses and uh, Turned out to be there, there's some pretty good glasses. You know, I've been trying them for the past week or so, and uh, so far I've been been pretty happy with them. They got some some great great features to them. Uh, you know, me being a fishing guide, a hardcore duck hunter, uh, you know, I'm out I'm out on the on the water seeing the elements. You know, mostly seven days a week, so they they definitely see their their fair share of use. So um, you know, having having these having these features really helps out and it's really nice um, you know for starters they are extremely flexible you know these glasses are, are tough as far as flexibility you know I definitely couldn't do this with my costas that I normally wear um, you can you can really you can really bend them so that you know that lets you know if you if you're throwing them in a backpack or something or you just keep them in your pocket you know unloading kayaks doing all that stuff they can they can uh, they can handle it you don't have to worry about snapping a limb off I've, I've done that with several pairs of glasses whether it be my Costas, Maui Gems, whatever, you know, I, I have snapped the arm off of them quite a few times. So being able to have that flexibility is a real key feature to it that I, I enjoy. Uh, you can tell they're, they're definitely scratch resistant too. That's another thing. I, I do a lot of scratching. Um, you know, I got, I'm on the beach a lot of the times, fishing in a lot of sandy areas. So they do get a lot of sand on the lenses and they like to scratch. So. Having a, having a scratch resistant lens is definitely going to pay off in the long run too. Uh, they've got hydrophobic lenses and you can see the water just kind of rolls right off of them. That's big, you know, being being a waterfowl hunter, being a, like I said, a fishing guide, you know, I'm constantly getting splashed, whether it be releasing a fish, pulling in decoys, whatever, you know, they they get splashed a lot. And so having that water just, just kind of roll right off, keep them nice and clean, nice and clear as you're, uh, you know, as you're trying to go about your day. They are polarized lenses too. You know, it is a plastic lens, but they are the, the plastic polarized lenses. They, um, you know, like I said, I've been wearing them for about a week and a half now. I've done a couple fishing trips with them and they they, they kind of surprised me how well they, they do. You know, they really cut through the water. That's nice, and you know, as, as a fisherman, I think that's probably one of the most important things you can get is a good pair of polarized sunglasses. It'll, um, you know, being able to see into the water just a little bit really, really helps out. It helps you see what's going on down there. <clears throat> they're, they're priced really well. You know, there's a $65 pair glasses like I did mention they are plastic frames plastic lenses so of course you know it's um you know you're not paying for glass lenses or anything like that so they're able to keep them real affordable you know under a hundred bucks just a little bit over 50 bucks so that's a that's a good good price point you know for a pair of polarized glasses that you can you know you can count on not breaking on you not scratching that's a it's a good price point so 65 bucks um, I do they did reach out to me with a code so if you guys are interested in buying a pair of these I'll drop a code below it's just kayaking Kennedy in all caps and that'll get you free shipping so that'll save you a couple bucks if you do decide to get a pair and the, the lenses are, are protected by a lifetime warranty they do, you know, so if you do, for any reason, they, they get scratched, they shatter, you break the frames, whatever, they, they do back them with a lifetime warranty. So, you know, that's it's, it's good to find a company with a lifetime warranty like that, you know, it means they're, they're really proud of their product and they they back it. So, you know, if, if for whatever, any kind of fortunate, unfortunate thing happens, you can you can just send it right in, they'll get you a new pair and uh, get you figured out. So that's that's big and, um, you know, that was one of the things with, with Costa when I first got into them. They offered a great warranty and that was, uh, you know, I love that because I'm, like I said, I'm constantly breaking glasses, doing, doing stuff, going through them. So having a warranty you can rely on, you know, if you do, if you do abuse them a little too much, that's, uh, that's good. That's, that's good to have that kind of in your back pocket a little bit of reassurance there so a couple things I, i'm not crazy about them and you know it's it's a lot of these it's just this style of glasses it is you know this kind of wayfarer style um you know they've got a lot of when they're when they're on their faces if you can kind of see there's a big gap right there in between your face so they do let a lot of light in so if you are trying to sight fish or something you know it's it is letting a little bit of light in so it can you know it can get a little bit tough to see the fish and you know have that sun in your eyes but you know like i said with any of these kind of wayfarer style lenses or frames you know you're just that's one thing you have to deal with and that's one thing i've been dealing with with my coasters i've been wearing the past two seasons is you get the light in so as far as design that that's probably the biggest flaw i, I think um but you know there's there's not really a whole lot you can do about that um you know, and like I mentioned, they are plastic lenses. So I think, you know, I've, in my experience, the glass lenses do hold up. They have, you know, long-term effect, that scratch resistance. They really do seem to, to hold up a little bit longer than plastic lenses, but, you know, 
like I said, they, they do back these with a warranty. They are scratch resistant, so, you know, shatter resistant, brick resistant. So that, uh, that definitely does help out, you know, but you know, I, I, I do prefer a glass lens, just kind of the feel, everything feels a little bit, but so far these have been really comfortable. Been wearing them all day, been wearing them on my trips, you know, hadn't gotten a headache or anything like that. What I've gotten with some of my other cheaper, you know, plastic glasses I've had in the past. So, so you know, they are not, aren't glass, but that isn't too big of a deal. I haven't, I haven't noticed a huge difference with that so far, but you know, a, after, you know, a year or so, we'll see, we'll see if I still feel the same way. But you know, so far, I think it's gonna be, work out just fine. Other than that, you know, like I said, they are, they so far have been real happy with them the, the past week or so. I will continue to wear these throughout the, the summer, kind of give y'all some updates on them. Uh, if y'all are curious, you know, if you are looking into them. So far, a weekend, I would definitely suggest these if you're looking for, you know, a good pair of glasses at a, at a, at a good price point, I would definitely suggest these. You know, I'll drop the link below uh, to their website and, you know, that little coupon, uh, coupon code I mentioned if you guys want to get free shipping on these. Drop all that information below. Um, I'll link a couple more videos they have if you want to check out some more of their features. But I think that's going to do it for today. You know, like I said, it was going to be a just short little video. It wound up going a little bit longer than I anticipated, but that's all right. You know, I wanted to make sure I gave y'all a good, good review on these. Um, but, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate all the support. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video today, if you enjoyed a little bit of review, shoot me a thumbs up. You know, every every like helps out a ton. Um, you know, if you guys are thinking about getting a pair of these glasses, if you want to, you know, if you're thinking about looking into them, drop me a comment below and, uh, you know, let me know if you're thinking about it. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'm going to quit hammering on. I appreciate you guys tuning in and I will catch you on the next one.